I want to go to a, a a different aspect, and we'll get back on track with your specific career and whatnot. But I'm curious, how familiar are are you with Mosh King? Oh, Weenus. I love Weenus. Okay, so I'm curious how much of that played a part in you with your guys' specific career and, and even you specifically going out and seeing these live shows. Was this kind of the hub and whatnot? Because I would love to get Mosh King documented on here and just I, how, how valuable was that tool for you specifically? Well, first of all, if Dennis, if you're watching this or whatever, you know I love you. I actually just had him at my last Vodka Metal Battle at uh, Viper Room as a guest. Uh, good friend of mine. Just love the dude to death. Uh, man, from like, you know, the mid 2000s on or whatever it was, I would set my yearly calendar to Mosh King. Like, I wouldn't even have like a real calendar. I would just see, you know, what's going on next week? Oh, let me see. Oh, well, there's this show, this show, and this show, and I'm not going to those, so I'm free Tuesday. What are you doing? What do you, what do you want to do? But, like, I basically, you know, I set my schedules to whatever Mosh King was doing. And he was one of the first guys that would put your local band on there and put a link to your shit on there and would tell people that, there's, that your local band is selling tickets and put a link here, go hit them up. You know, he was super helpful. Um, I remember when Hellsot got our website up for the first time and we started selling tickets through PayPal for the first time. And uh, Dennis hooked us up on uh, Mosh King with the show, put, you know, just put the link to our name where all you had to do was click the name Hellsot and it went straight to our, our website where the PayPal button was. You know, I didn't even leave my house and I sold like 40 tickets. Wow. And I was like, oh, my God. After all those years of running around, handing tickets out or mailing them and people saying I didn't get them and all that bullshit, man, just, just went away. And now I could just hand the door person a list of names with the tickets there saying these are all paid for. Here's your money. All you got to do is let them in. And I didn't even have to leave the house. You know, it was like, you know, that was a. Uh, game changing for me and for all the help Moss King did for that, you know, super grateful. I'm just curious how he specifically would just get all this information. I mean, that's probably must've been like a nonstop, almost like a, a labor of love. It's not even oh, a job because yeah. I don't think he was getting paid for it, but just no. super helpful to have that at that specific time. I, th I honestly think we need a hub again. We, we need a Mosh King again just to like we, we have so many different avenues we need one central fucking place you know yep i know man he's all uh he's turned into um a universal health care guy he's all into politics um and that's where his life's at right now and he says as soon as we get universal health care and his job's done there he will gladly go back to putting all that energy in the mosh gang so I don't think we're going to get that anytime soon. So hopefully someone else steps up to the plate. But yeah, basically, I mean, if you hang around, you know, uh, Facebook or, you know, uh, in, what is it? Um, well, right. All the social media varies. Yeah, platforms so, so and social medias, but not that just uh, mailing lists from the, um, the labels and agencies and stuff like that. Cause that's what he did. And so like, the day a press release would come out, it would come to your email. I mean, anybody can sign up to the shit. Just go to their nuclearblast.com and go sign up to their shit. You know, whenever one of their bands hits on a tour, the day the tour is announced on a press release, you will get an email about it. So Dennis would just get all those emails and he'd look himself. He'd find uh, what's going on and add the shit himself. And then he also had the button where if you had a show that isn't on there that you know of that he doesn't, you can send it to him and he'll put it on. And then he also had a, a section for just local bands to check out local bands. It was a whole different tab where all you, you know, all you had to do is click on there and it was just all the local bands he supported and uh, a link to their website or Facebook page or whatever you wanted him to put on there. Um, you know, and if you were active playing gigs, even if he didn't really care for your music, he'd put you on there. So it was, you know, something like that was super awesome to see. And lastly, when it comes to, to Mosh King, I just love the fact that he 
hardly knew any of, of the bands or especially a band like us and just super helpful to to just music and metal in general and it's like so yeah, missed man. nowadays you know his, it's, uh, you know his claim to fame was he just wear that mosh king shirt to a show that's it and then of course anybody that saw him be like mosh king i love that website and then whoever's standing next to him would be like yeah he's the guy and then he'd be like hey, let me buy you a beer you know so that yeah. was that that was the only pat on the back he ever really got man which i and think he deserved more 